Speaking of sales professionals and speaking of people that you want to know, how's that for a transition, Larry? Hey, that, gotta, dude, that was pretty good, man. I'm, I'm impressed, Daryl. This is not amateur hour here. We are, we are, this is a <laughs> highly confident podcast. Uh, and these are your highly skilled podcast hosts, <laughs> Daryl and Larry. <laughs> so, also known as just a couple of sales guys who really love uh, what we do. But we've got a really good guest this week, and I'm, I'm excited about our conversation. So why don't you tee this up? And as always, let's dive in. No, thanks, Daryl. Boy, I, I, went, I went pretty long distance to find our guest, Daryl. So, you know, we, we had to... We had to fly him from across the pond over onto the Selling from the Heart podcast. You no, know, that didn't happen. No, it didn't happen, but you know, it makes for a good talk. Um, I actually, I met Tony Morris, gosh, probably about a year or so ago through some mutual acquaintances and we struck up an online friendship and, and to be quite honest, you know, kind of fell off the radar for a while and, and to, you know, it's just things happen and we rekindled the friendship over social and one thing led to another. We started having conversations. And I was actually on Tony Morris's podcast just a couple of weeks ago recording it and had said, you know what, you got to come on the podcast. I got to reciprocate. And Tony brings us a wealth, a wealth of knowledge around a really great topic we're going to talk about. So without further ado, Tony Morris, welcome to Selling from the Heart. We appreciate you being on. Thank you, guys. Absolute honor and a, and a pleasure. I wish I could have flown over. I'd have loved that. Maybe <laughs> when, when we're out the crisis, you know, that would be my next, my next move. That's right. Well, hey, uh, it, it is uh, awesome to have you on the podcast today. And, and I've been looking forward to just hearing your take on the question that all of our guests get. And you know the question. It's what does it mean to you to sell from the heart? Yeah, absolutely. For me, the biggest word that comes out is passion and, and passion, love, belief in, in, in sales. And something that I adore about, and the reason I really am genuinely passionate is I don't see it as, as a job. I, I see it as what we do every day. You know, we're, we're selling in every area of our life. I, I just had to persuade my son he can only do two hours a fortnight a day now. And that was the toughest negotiation I've ever encountered. <laughs> but, but, you know, and, and that's, that's to me what Selling from the Heart is about. It's about having that genuine love and passion for what we do, having good conversations that lead to great outcomes. But it's about helping, helping our clients achieve their goals, helping our clients solve their pains and their problems. And, and it's a real interesting one, you know, in the pandemic we're in, so many people are saying, oh, I'm scared to be selling right now, you know, people are in a, in a bad state. And, and I argue that and say, you know, are you saying you want to stop helping your clients? Mm. 